What's wrong with you? Oh, how was your day, Damien? My day, Tanya? My day was amazing. Thanks for asking. I got another fucking note from a job today. Actually, two jobs. Two jobs said fuck you. Oh, and on the way home, I little running with 5 0. They got a little free spirit with their hands. And my face. I was wondering why you look like that. But you didn't ask. Because you don't care. I care. Yeah, right. It's just... It's always something up with you. Always. And I guess I'm just trying to figure out when things are going to turn around. Turn around. Yeah. Oh, really? That's how you feel? What's going on, beautiful people? It's your boy here, Wesley, from A Connection TV here on YouTube, the one place on the World Wide Web where we actually adopt similar connections despite our differences. And welcome to my channel. If this is your first time seeing me, definitely follow me on all social medias, Twitter and Instagram, at A Connection TV. Okay, like this video because it's free to do, leave comments because it's free to do, and subscribe because it's free to do. If you do all three things, that helps me out. Now, I'm a reviewer, not a reporter. And this particular channel on YouTube has become an amalgamation of sorts over time. But mainly what I use it for now are reviews about cinema, reviews or my critique on celebrities sometimes. Uh, and I also review like reality TV shows. And so I, and I also upload some of my original scripted content from my platform, watchactv.com. So definitely check that out. You saw a clip at the very beginning. This particular video is going to be about, let me find it, let me find it. Yeah, The Night Agent on Netflix just released this past Thursday and, or this week period. And when I sign on to Netflix, I see Gabriel Basso on the cover and he looks great he looks like an action hero this looks like he's about to be a superhero kind of action you know born identity kind of situation and so i'm like i'm here for it and, and it was supposed to release this week so when it finally released i actually looked at the trailer and i saw like this woman um Lu lucian book 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 buchanan Lucianne Buchanan, right. I saw her on the phone and she's like, hello, hello, I really need some help. Someone's trying to kill me. I'm not trying to act right now, but that's what she gave. And so I was like, okay, let's tune in. Let's go. It's a series. Let's go. Listen, y'all. Okay. I'm looking at the Rotten Tomato score. It's a 75%. Uh, IMDb gave it a 7.5 out of 10. And 90% of people like this TV show. Okay. Um, so the reason, the, the way that I do this, right? I talk about the actors, I talk about the scrap, script, I give my rating, and then I review it. Once I'm in the review territory, it becomes spoiler. So if you don't want to hear the review, then definitely turn off after the rating, right? Let's talk about the actors. Everybody did a great job. This particular show is kind of like, not kind of, it's a show where everyone gets to shine. You got some gay people in this, you got some black people in this, and they doing something. Okay, you always gonna have the white people doing something, but you got some men out here got prominent roles, some women got prominent roles, even the kids is acting in here. Okay, then you got some action sequences. And to be quite honest, like the action, well, I can do about that in review, but talking about the actors, everyone does a great job. Shout out to DB Woodside, who is in this. He's in a lot of stuff, okay? Gabriel Basso, this is really my first time seeing him, really like in the forefront. I think his last movie, if I'm correct, I don't know, <laughs> was Hillbilly Elegy, which was in 2020. I don't know what the hell that's about, but never heard of it. He's been in the Kings of Summer, never heard of it. Super 8, I, I believe I heard of that. American Wrestler, The Wizard, like he's been in a lot of stuff. The last thing he was in was Hillbilly Elegy. And if I'm saying that right. And I wanna check that out because this man needs more work. And the reason why I say he needs more work is because him as the main lead al alongside, um, you know, Lucy and Buchanan, did the dang thing. This is one of those shows where this guy is so likable, you just wanna like root for him. And that's 
Well, oh my god, this thing is so well written. I know I'm all over the place, but the acting is phenomenal. I like the acting. It's very believable, and I was caught up in rapture watching this show. The script, superb! Mwah! There's so many callbacks from like episode one to episode seven or episode two to episode nine. Like there's so many callbacks throughout here and a good callback will always sink, I will always sink my teeth in in a good callback. And it's so fleshed out and well-rounded, you don't have any questions. The only thing though is leading me to believe that th if this thing becomes popular, that they will do a season two because they left it open for a season two. But it's so fleshed out. Like you, you, you go watching it, and then all of a sudden, a new character shows up, and you're like, "Okay, who the heck is this? Like, wh why are we worried about them?" But then they tell you who they are. Then they tell you why you should be worried. It's so good. I'm gonna rate this show a nine out of ten. It's a full fledged series. I don't have any questions coming out of it, and the diversity in the cast, mwah, Chef's Kiss. Oh my God! And no one's stereotypically cast in this. Like. The black man is not the thug on the street corner. The gay person is not some twirl fin, flirting, kind of colorful man. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's a different perspective of people that we're not used to seeing. So, freaking phenomenal. Freaking phenomenal. This show is so freaking good. And I give it a 9 out of 10. You definitely should watch it. If you like the born identities of the world, the Mission Impossibles of the world, and things of the sort, like good action, but, but a thriller? Because it's a show where you're like, I know that person did it. Oh wait, no, did this person do it? Mind you, I already knew who was the, the culprit. But when you like know the culprit, it like spins you around and say like, well, this is also going on. And it's like, okay, like what's about to happen right now? This is really good, baby. I watched all 10 episodes last night. <laughs> I watched all 10 episodes last night just so I could do a review today and tell y'all about this show. So freaking good. All right, so now I'm about to get into spoiler territory. So if y'all don't want to know about it just yet, baby, I'm going to need y'all to go watch this show real quick and then come back to see my... <laughs> come back to see my review because, listen, this thing was good. So, like, I'm in a mix of cooking something downstairs and it's on a timer, so... I'm gonna be in and out of this review, but listen, we start this particular show off where we get to meet a couple of the people, right? And Gabriel Basso looking as, you know, charismatic and as cool Captain America-esque as he looks, all right, is on a train. And you automatically get the sense that he's a good guy, right? Clearly, he's the main guy on the flyer, but you feel it. That's the whole point, you feel it. He's on the train, he sees a woman and a child, and he, you know, when you're sitting down on the train and you know, you wanna be nice to get up for the woman and the child. I don't really do that. <laughs> Cause maybe I'm tired just like you tired. But mind you, the woman was holding a bag of groceries and stuff, and you know, he wanted to be nice, but he was the only one to get up. Cause I wouldn't have got up, I would have sat down, baby. I, baby, I'm sitting down. But he gets up for her and boom, boom, boom. Then later, not later, but he notices someone suspicious in the back. I'm just glad that the suspicious person was not a black man. Oh, so this show is good. So he noticed someone suspicious in the back and he has like a backpack and he puts the backpack underneath the seat and you know, at the next stop, he leaves the backpack and gets off. So, Bezo being the guy that he is, Peter Sutherland is his, is his name in the show, Peter goes over and, you know, when you see something, say something. He goes and looks in the bag and, oop, it's a bomb. He doesn't know how to, you know, stop the bomb, which, again, I feel like the reason why Peter Sutherland is such a great character is because he's thrown into things and he's not like a expert. Like, he's not an expert fighter or an expert strategist or an expert tactician. Like, he's just an all-around all nice guy that wanted to be an FBI agent because his father and like he just thrown himself in there and of course he knows you know regular hand-to-hand -hand combat but he began beat up sometimes so it's like you know you could, you could watch this feeling like him he don't know how to you know disengage the bomb and so he's like everybody get off the train get off the train and get out the people off the train and then boom it explodes right and so he saves Everyone except for one person, but the child and the mother that got on that he got, got the seat to, he saves them. 
he, you know, the, the ambulance coming and he, you know, he's sitting trying, they stitch him up or whatever. He got a headache because the bomb went off right behind him or whatever. And um, he sees the guy that planted the bomb. So then he goes after the guy that planted the bomb. There's a scuffle. There's a fight. And the guy ends up getting away because the dude get hit. Peter Sutherland gets hit by this car. Great action sequences is very practical. Everything is very practical, except for when they be riding in cars. Like, you know, they not riding outside. Like, you just know, because the green screen in the back, like, that was the worst for me. I was like, child, y'all is not riding around town. Y'all is sitting with this same backdrop with the car. But it was fine. It was fine. It didn't, like, take me out, but I knew. So I'm like, all right, I see the budget of it all. But no, you clearly see the budget as you're watching the show. But the show is just so like he is just from the very first episode. Peter Sutherland is a lovable, likable guy. And you want to figure out what's happening. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, these are great characters and you want to keep watching. And so Peter Sutherland is a night agent and he gets a night action call from Lucianne Buchanan, who plays Rose, who just found out that her aunt and uncle were spies and, you know, they knew something about somebody in the White House and they were being uh, sought after to kill so that what they knew wasn't found out. And so they indirectly give the information to Rose and tells Rose to call night action. So Rose calls night action. Peter Sutherland is working that night action shift. And that's how they meet. The first scene where he has to instruct her on how to survive was just freaking awesome. And it was like a, a heart pounding kind of a moment because you're like girl she gonna get out but you're like you know she got to get out because it's just the first episode like they not about to kill her the first episode but at the same time you get that rush right you get that rush it was shot well the direction was well i shot really really well i liked it um you know shout out to the directors of the film uh but it that was really really good from episode one on and then that's when like who did it? Why did the aunt and uncle die? Like, who's after them? That's when it becomes like a thing. And the whole show is about figuring out why Rose's aunt and uncle were killed. But the reason why this show is so good, outside of what I said in the beginning of this video, is not all, not, not, it doesn't end the way. I mean, it plays out the way you want it to play out naturally after watching your all episodes. But the reason why I stayed up all night watching it, I was just like, well, what's about to happen next? What's about to happen next? What's about to happen next? This show has you going through every character, trying to figure out who did it and what's their motive. And honestly, I figured out who was the culprit, but when you figure out who the culprit is, there's still like things that surround the culprit that makes you go, what? Oh, really? Damn. Like from... You know, daddy issues, parental issues, you know, the loss of a father, um, the loss of the love of, of marriage, uh, parenting. I'm, I'm, I'm saying like the same thing, but not saying the same thing. Then trying to come up in the ranks, you trying like D.B. Woodside's character, like is this beloved hero because he saved the president at the cost of his own life, potentially. Obviously he survives, like you have that dynamic, then you have a young black woman who's trying to come up in the ranks um, in the special service area era. So you're like trying to champion her and how she's doing it. Then you got the vice president's daughter playing a role in this. And then you're like, well, how does this all tie in and how does it fit? Then you find out like this secret a uh, shocking discovery about one of the culprits and it's like what's going on i was up all night yesterday watching this show and i was like this show is so freaking good listen y'all have to give this show a shot because it is a nine out of ten if you like action thrillers if you like trying to figure out who did it if you're like always at the edge of your seat like what oh no like i need to keep watching this and i watched episode one all the way up to episode 10 last night i didn't get a lot of sleep i still wanted to do this uh like review and give it some kind of justice not really saying too much because i want y'all to go watch it right even eve harlow her dynamic with her love interest as the serial killers you get backstory about the serial killers you get backstory about the vice president and the daughter you get backstory about um um 
far. You get backstory about Rose. You get backstory about D.B. Woodside's character. You get backstory about the black woman. Like, you get backstory about everybody, so everything comes it comes full circle, and you're like, whoa, like, this is so good. Like, damn, no, they didn't. Let me keep watching this. It's so, so good. It's really so, so good. Like, people die, and you're like, no, oh, why did they die? No. <laughs> And then, then when do people do that, you're like, yes, get them, get them, get them, beat them up, beat them up. You know, and Rose Lucien Buchanan's character is not necessarily a damsel in distress. Like, she gets to the point where she tired of people murking people around her, and she tired of having to run from people, and she fight back. Which is a callback to what uh, Basso said to her in the Baso said to her in the first episode: "Fight like hell to survive." This show is good, and I need y'all to watch this show. It's so good. Now, when y'all watch the show, I need y'all to come back, leave y'all comments below, let me know what you thought. But the Night Agent on Netflix is really, really good. It just released this week. Watch it and check it out. Deuces.